I don't want to go through this no more. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. either. It's finally happening. Will and Jada are finally getting divorced. Or at least that's what they both want everyone to thank. You guys, I think I speak for all of us when I say that it's about time. What most people don't know is that they've actually had marriage problems since before they even got married. Yes, you heard me right, before. Will actually admitted recently that Jada didn't want to get married at all in the first place. She had no interest in it. But her mom begged Will to marry Jada because she was two months pregnant with Jaden. I mean, what a great story to a marriage, right? Well, we've only watched it fall apart since then, and even though they've spent most of their marriage trying to convince everyone how in love they are, Will actually talked a lot in his memoir about how that has almost never been the case. He said in his book that he had started planning for her 40th birthday party three years in advance, and it was going to be a screening of a documentary that he had made about her life that went through her entire family history. I mean, you know, it's a pretty insane thing to do for your spouse, right? And I feel like most people would be super grateful, but shockingly, not Jada. When she found out about the plans, she told Will that it was the most self-serving thing she'd ever seen someone do, and maybe it was, and we're just, you know, not getting the full story, but I'm just not seeing it. I mean, they ended up getting into a huge fight that was so bad that Willow, who was just a child at the time, actually got involved, and Will said that she was crying and begging them to stop, and it sounds like it was a really bad time in their lives, and Will also said that she was resentful of putting her own dreams aside for the family. And when you look at their lives, it kind of makes sense. I mean, around Jada's 40th birthday was also when Willow was taking off with her viral Whip My Hair song. And it was also around the time that Jaden and Will starred in the pursuit of happiness together. So it definitely all adds up. Plus, Will said that he convinced her to buy this huge compound with hundreds of acres of land for their family, but she hated it. So they were pretty much putting all of their savings that they worked so hard into a house that she hated hated, and they've always said that, you know, after that, they focus on making their marriage stronger, but it actually seems like they've never gotten to that point. I mean, I really don't get why they've been trying to make it work for as long as they have. I mean, at some point, it's like, you gotta give up, but, you know, they've actually revealed on Jada's show a few years ago that they never planned to do that. I mean, they actually said that they are in a quote-unquote bad marriage for life, but it seems like they might be backtracking on that statement, and all I have to say to that is good. I mean, so we all know just how badly things started falling apart for these two. In 2015, they supposedly decided to separate, but they didn't tell anyone that decision publicly. Nope. Instead, they were both allegedly in other relationships while they were trying to quote-unquote find themselves. And I just think it's really funny that instead of finding themselves, they just found other people. I mean, you know, <laughs> what? it's like, what do I know? So anyway, their 2015 separation was what started everything with the line that we all know so well because of Jada, her entanglement with August. On that episode of Red Table Talk, it really seemed like it was only Jada who had been in a relationship, but Will claimed to GQ this year that it was actually both of them. And speaking of GQ, this is when the story gets really bizarre, because supposedly Will gave GQ an early draft of his memoir to read, and in his chapter about this portion of their lives, they both realized that something needed to change, but that's it. But like the chapter just ends right there, so no further explanation, and all I have to say to that is, we don't what the heck? I mean, what are you changing? Are you saying that you're getting divorced? Because that's what it really sounds like. And also, GQ really pressed him for an answer about what that meant. And finally, Will just said that they, you know, decided to be in an open relationship. And I say, quote unquote, they in air quotes because it definitely sounds like it was more Jada's choice than his. But he told GQ that Jada had seen these types of relationships in her own family work and she thought it would work well for them. And hilariously enough, I feel like this all kind of comes back to the fact that she never wanted to marry Will in the first place. And I mean, this is like 25 years later, you guys. So why is she still married to the guy when she clearly doesn't want to be? And she clearly never wanted to be married to him in the first place. I mean, is it all really because they decided that they'd be in a bad marriage for life just so that they could say that they're still married? I mean, that just seems so unhealthy. Let the guy go, Jada. But anyway, he talked about how that they had to make the decision because it was the best thing for their happiness, but he didn't recommend it to any 
anyone else. So Will, if you're so happy from this arrangement, why wouldn't you recommend it to anyone else? Something here is not adding up clearly, and now it sounds like the Oscar slap was the final straw for Will and Jada, because supposedly they're barely even speaking anymore after that, and I just don't get it. I mean, Will embarrassed himself in front of the world to defend Jada, and now she's not speaking to him? I mean, it's like, they might have one of the weirdest marriages ever. I, it's like, I don't get it. Like, what do you guys think? I mean, it's like, they're in an open relationship, which means that they can have relationships with other people. They're also supposedly not even speaking anymore, so what is their relationship? It's like, at this point, it seems like just some legal documents binding their finances together. Nothing about it seems like an actual marriage or relationship, and allegedly, they're both reconsidering their bad marriage for life statement and divorcing sooner rather than later. And all I have to say to that is just finally. I mean, they're honestly not fooling you know anyone anymore. So it's like we all see through how ridiculous their marriage has become. But if and when they do get divorced, oh my god, it's gonna be so messy. I mean, I honestly think it's one of the only reasons that they're still in this quote-unquote marriage together. I mean, they have a lot of money between the two of them, something like 350 plus million dollars. And I can only imagine how tricky it's gonna be to split that up. And some people are even guessing that it would be such a messy divorce. It'd take longer than Brad and Angelina's divorce. And my opinion, it would probably be one of the craziest divorces in Hollywood history. And since they're pretty much already living separate lives, maybe they will just stay married just to save themselves the trouble of splitting up, you know, everything they have. But I mean, anyway, guys, who? what do you guys think? What a story. I personally think that this divorce would be a long time coming, but I don't know if it'll actually happen. I mean, mostly because of the money thing and because they're already living separate lives. So there's really no reason for them to be married anymore in the first place. And they're already living like single people, supposedly. But if they do get divorced, you know, number one, how much would that suck for Will to embarrass himself so publicly at the Oscars and get banned for 10 years, all for his wife, who he was defending, to divorce him right after? And two, you know, what kind of crazy Red Table Talk episodes did we get while they were getting divorced? I mean, I can only imagine all the bizarre episodes they would come up with. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Such a crazy story. I've always loved Will Smith. Smith. I kind of adore him. I think he is so cool. The whole, you know, Oscar thing, that is neither here nor there. But as a person, I've always thought he was inspiring, inspirational, such a cool story. And I, I think Jada's similar, you know, just a very bizarre, crazy story. So put in the comments below what you guys think. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Well, thank you guys all so much for watching. To be a huge favorite, that like, follow, share, subscribe button, and y'all better stay tuned for many more videos.